Hello. Doing right now the launchers for the LG V20. Setting that up. Right now this is the home LG V20 home launcher without the ab drawer. Without the ab drawer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into settings, which is here. Give me one second. Oops, wrong button. Okay, now we're going to go into display. Home screen is one way of doing it. And I found it to be easier. So now I got it right now for default, set for the home. Now I'm going to do the Google La Now Launcher. Now here we notice we have the app drawer icon back. And you notice, well, pretty much the only option you really have, you have your Google Now here. Uh, and you pretty much everything set up for like Google format, which is not bad. I'm just not particular about that. So now let's go back. Let's do this again. Settings is my most recent. If you notice, this, your most recent will be up here. And pretty much everything else is alphabetical order. Anyways, that's if I can change settings in here. Now we're going to go back. I'm going to go back to home. It's easier doing it that way. You can also do result. I can also do, show you another way of doing this too. But this seems to be the easier on this device. So now we did home. I showed you briefly about that. I just did you Google Now Launcher. Let's do the Action 3 Basic. This is the basic. But I'll show you what we have to change. And you notice you keep getting these. Now if you notice, this is how I got it set up, just like on my Note 5, I got my little roller decks. Yeah, I don't know, I would, yeah, I do that by default, I think that is for the Pro version where I can get it for the Nougat feature. But then you notice... I can go into here, and I'll go into my quick theme, and I can set up the status bar, search box, and the quick drawer, which I just showed you here. So this is pretty much everything that I can tweak out on the action launcher. You know, and now I can do the quick bar. Everything that I would show up in your Google search bar, would be, I can have certain buttons pressed up in here. This is what's really nice. Save space and widgets, actually. And here, you can do your different versions of Lollipop, Marshmallow, Pixel. That I like the option of that. It can give you the Google Pixel version. If you notice, plus plus, so it's well worth the price of spending. I think it's two ninety nine for the app, and and here this is what you might want to like too is the portrait and the grid size. That is really nice. You can fit more icons, more apps on your screen. It gives you more space as well. In your quick drawer, you can turn it off or you can turn it on. And like I said, you can do it the way it sorts. And you can do the letter shortcuts too. So, this is kind of neat. I really like this. Really good tweaking. And it gives you all your benefits, actually. So, for two ninety nine, I believe the price is. And this is, like I said, this is the Action Launcher Pro one right here. This is what I like. Like I said, I can go multiple ways. 
I can do it this way with the folder icon and I can search everything all up in here even that's what's nice too and this is what I'm using on my note 5 the one that I'm recording on right now but right now I'm gonna go back to the LG because I'm just gonna get myself more familiar with that as well so now let's go back here go into settings I'm gonna go back to home select home I'm gonna go back to the LG basics and that's pretty much how I'm doing this and it's something quite simple and like I said don't be scared there's nothing to be scared about um, don't let you know just don't go out and buy a phone and say this is how it is the wonderful world of Android is how you can tweak it and make it more user friendly for your needs all right so I hope you enjoy this video happy new year and you guys have a good holiday